ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for another session of the Dabonis Operative Grand Rounds. We are privileged today to have with us Dr. Jacques Marcos from University of Miami. Our discussion will focus on management and technical nuances for STA, MCA bypass, and cerebral revascularization. Jacques, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Aaron, very much for including me in this uh, very popular series of WNS Operative Grand Rounds. It's a real pleasure to join you. Thank you. Um, so the agenda is as follows. We are going to go ahead and review some slides of mine, and then um, Jacques will present some of his own slides and his technical nuances, and then we'll have three surgical videos, one of mine and two of his, that would really touch upon what uh, the pearls and pitfalls of uh, this procedure uh, are. So let's go ahead and um, discuss the disclosures, none of which interferes with the presentation uh, today. So what are the indications for cerebral revascularization? Flow augmentation for cerebral ischemia, and that's for symptomatic atherosclerotic stenosis of ICA or MCA. And there's much controversy, as we know, along, around this you know, uh, issue of uh, the study that was done, the cooperative ICEC study, um, ECIC study in 1985, that didn't show really significant difference between the medical and surgical arm uh, for using this procedure. Recently, the cost study, the carotid occlusion surgical study, uh, was also concluded due to lack of detection of any difference between the medical arm and the surgical arm. However, this procedure has remained very effective for Moya Moya disease and flow replacement for giant aneurysms and rarely tumors. Going back to the um, idea of use of this procedure for misery perfusion for symptomatic atherosclerotic disease, such as carotid occlusion or MCA stenosis occlusion, um, it has been our practice that still this procedure remains very effective, however, for a very select group of patients. In other words, even though the ECIC cooperative study did not detect a difference and the recent cost study was not uh, detecting any difference either, on a very select group of patients who on medical therapy continue to suffer from multiple strokes and have a misery perfusion based on cerebral blood flow studies, this procedure should still be offered. Um, Jacques, can I please ask you to comment on that? Yes, certainly. Um, first of all, we all use the terms low flow and high flow bypass. It, it really can be a misnomer. Uh, for example, certain STAs can carry very significant flow, up to 150 cc per, per minute. So it's important to not be married to those terms and maybe think more uh, in terms of low capacitance versus high capacitance vessels. Uh, so STA, yes, generally is low flow, but not always so. Vein graft generally is high flow, but not always so. It all is a matter of uh, supply and demand. So I think it's an important distinction, and uh, the general principle would be to supply whatever the specific patient needs, not more, not less, uh, and, and that's why the categorization needs to have a little nuance in it. And do you, you still offer the STMCA uh, procedure to your patients who have carotid occlusion, and what are your indications despite the recent studies? Yes, uh, COS clearly is a, is a very important uh, study that we all sh should take into account. It's important to realize it's not published yet, so the full analysis needs to await uh, the paper print. Uh, it's been presented as abstracts. Uh, there is no difference uh, in the design of the study between surgery and uh, best medical treatment, uh, clearly due to the much improved natural history of the medical arm due to the use of statins, it is assumed. It's, they have half the rate of strokes that they expected them to have. Uh, surgery was still effective. Uh, the side effects, the complication rate of surgery, uh, were similar to the 1985 study. But it is interesting to note, uh, as per Dr. Grug, uh, Grub, the co-PI, that uh, if the surgical side effects had been 8% instead of the real 15%, uh, 
there would have been uh, fav uh, be 